It's Thursday of Passion Week, and it's the Passover celebration. That morning, Jesus says to his disciples that he has an appointed upper room that he plans on celebrating the Passover meal with them together. The disciples seem to be in the room waiting for him as he enters. Incredibly, he has a smile on his face. He looks at his disciples and says, I have longed, I've been waiting for, to share this Passover meal with you. He knows what's coming. He knows the horrors that are just on the other side of this very meal. But before we get to the garden, before we get to the mock trial and the beatings and the spitting in the face and all that accompanies that night, there is the Passover meal. And Jesus longs to celebrate that time, an intimate time with his disciples, longs to give them the gift of his new covenant and to celebrate and to say, this is my body, which is broken for you. This is my blood, which is poured out for you. As they recline at the table, Jesus gets up, girds his loins as a servant, takes a water basin and begins to wash his disciples' feet. It's an incredible moment of intimacy, of servanthood. For Jesus, that which is a joy and celebration. Again, a gift that he longs to give to his disciples. All the while he knows that which is right around the next corner. Church, I find that incredible. I find it magnificent. I find it stirring of my soul that our God, our Savior, who came to rescue and to redeem us, who came to suffer and die on the cross, is so intimately concerned, so passionate, so drawing near to us that he has this incredible intimate moment with his disciples that we call the Last Supper, that we get to celebrate uh, once a month here at our church at First Baptist Bernie. God, we have so much to celebrate. And so church, this Thursday, this Thursday of Passion Week, knowing that tomorrow is Good Friday, will you pause to contemplate the kindness, the gentle nature of our Lord and Savior, who is a roaring lion, yet came as a sacrificed silent lamb. As we move towards Good Friday, and as we move towards Resurrection Sunday, will you pause to have a moment and celebrate his tender kindness?